taken 250 grams of mutton pieces so this is basically boneless mutton and the pieces are made specially for biryani so they are bigger in size we'll transfer it to a bowl now we'll begin with the marination process so first goes in 1 tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste followed by 2 slate green chilies 1 tablespoon of freshly chopped coriander leaves 1 tablespoon of mint leaves a juice from half a lemon okay and we'll give it a mix now gradually we uh, will add 2 tablespoon of curd so make sure the curd is at room temperature and it is not cold followed by 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder and some salt to taste so we need to add 1 tablespoon of garam masala so it adds a really great flavor and we'll mix it nicely so make sure each and every piece of the mutton gets coated by the masala well we'll cover it now and rest for about 15 minutes the mutton have nicely rested for about 15 minutes so add 2 teaspoon of oil to a pressure cooker gradually add the marinated mutton pieces so basically we need to cook this mutton okay so this is done to this we'll add one cup of water and we'll give it a stir perfect so now we'll close the lid of the pressure cooker and we need to cook it for about seven to eight whistles on medium to high flame we'll start making our pulao so add one tablespoon of oil to the pan once the oil is hot we'll add one tablespoon of caraway seeds of shahi jeera followed by one to one and a half onion which is sliced so we need to saute this onion till it turns into a nice golden brown color okay so this is done to this we'll add half green bell pepper or capsicum and followed by half a tomato sliced and we we'll need to saute this for about 30 to 40 seconds this is done to this we'll add the cooked mutton pieces the mutton have nicely cooked you would notice superb and followed by 250 grams of soaked rice so here i'm using jeera sambar rice okay so this is done to this we'll go ahead and add one tablespoon of coriander leaves some mint leaves and we'll mix it well okay so this is done now we'll add two cups of mutton stock so this is the same stock in which we have cooked the mutton it adds a really great flavor to your pulao followed by some salt and sprinkle two teaspoon of garam masala powder give it a mix okay add some mint mint leaves for the flavor so cover it nicely and cook it for about 15 minutes on a low to medium heat it has been 15 minutes so we'll take out the lid awesome it looks delicious and you would notice the rice have separated very nicely the rice is not sticky and the mutton is cooked so finally we'll garnish this pulao with finely chopped coriander leaves and we'll also add a layer of fried onion to this so adding onion is optional but trust me it adds a really great flavor to this pulao so do not skip this out okay we'll now serve it so you can enjoy this pulao with some salad or even rasa made up of mutton chicken or even as it is it tastes awesome so after serving it into the plate, do not forget to garnish it with coriander leaves and topping it with some fried onion. It adds a really delicious flavor. Wow. Okay, so this is done. So we'll serve it along with some salad. And our mutton pulao is ready. If you like this recipe, do try out this recipe. Also like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Till then, cook unique in a smarter way.